Welcome to getting started with Turning Technologies Clickers. The first step to using your clickers is to create a participant list. Before picking up your clickers from the media department, make sure to save a copy of the master participant list. If you look on the back of a clicker, you'll see a six-digit device ID. You'll also see that each clicker is numbered from 1 to 200. Go ahead and open Turning Point Anywhere. Here a window will come up and I'll call this the polling assistant. Go to Create and Manage and click on Participants. From here you can either create a new participant list or edit an existing participant list. You're going to edit the existing participant list. Browse to where you saved the master list. Here you'll see that all the device IDs and clicker numbers have already been entered for you. Now you can create your own list. Let's say you have the set of clickers numbered 1 to 30. You will then simply highlight all the fields from 31 to the end and go to Edit Clear. If you scroll up, you'll see that now you have only numbers 1 through 30 in the fields. You can go ahead and rename this list. So go to File, Save As, and you're just going to call this anything you want. You could call it the name of your course if you want. So let's go to Bio 101 Class List and just hit Save. As you can see up top, you will see the column that says device ID and the clicker number. There's also a column for last name and a column for first name. You can add more columns if you'd like. If you click on this square, you'll see an option to add a field or a group. I'm going to go to add field. This box will ask you to enter a name for the new field. If you click on the drop down, it will give you a variety of options. If you want to enter a field that is not on this list, simply select one of the names, any one, and click Add. Let's say I wanted to add a field for middle name. I'm going to go to this column, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to hit Rename, and here you could rename it. There you go. So I'm not going to need this, so I'm going to just highlight this column, I'm going to right click it, and I'm just going to click on Remove Field. When you're done creating the columns that you want, you can begin entering the student's last and first names. and so on. Once you're finished entering the information in all the columns, you can go ahead and click on Done. Now you have created your participant list.